Good morning. Welcome to the channel. It's a gray cloudy day and I am gray cloud. Sage of the eternal moment. That moment right there, the only moment you got. Let that one go. Grab the next one. That's the only moment you got. What are you going to do with that moment? What are you going to do with that day, this day? This is the only day you have. Tomorrow is not promised and yesterday is gone. Today is the day you do something. Hit like if you would, please. Uh, hit the like button. It's a little button that when you hit it, it'll give a thumbs up. It'll say like. It'll, it, it'll add to the productivity of the channel. It'll push the channel out to more people that have not seen the channel. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please think about subscribing. And I'm getting upset at looking at my tooth right there. <sighs> no time to be self-conscious about myself. I'm going to read from Jesus Calling this morning. <sighs> June 18th. You are my beloved child. I chose you before the foundation of the world to walk with me along paths designed new, uniquely for you. Concentrate on keeping in step with me instead of trying to anticipate my plans for you. If you trust that my plans are to prosper you and not to harm you, you can relax and enjoy the present moment. Enjoy it. Your hope and your future are rooted in heaven where eternal ecstasy awaits you. Nothing can rob you of your inheritance of unima unimaginable riches and well-being. Sometimes I grant you glimpses of your glorious future to encourage you and spur you on. But your main focus should be staying close to me. I set the pace in keeping with your needs and my purposes. It gives you uh, Ephesians 1, verse 4, Proverbs 16, verse 9, Jeremiah 29, verse 11, and again, Ephesians 1, 13 through 14. Seems weird that they give you Ephesians 1, 4, and then later, I guess, I don't know, I would have put them back to back, I don't know, that's just me, I don't know why they did it that way. And I guess it doesn't matter. Um, I want to touch on something for a minute. Um, there's a guy I watch on YouTube that um, his channel is about why he left uh, religion. And when he's talking about religion, he's talking about Christianity in, in, in particular. But um, I like his channel. And he's a very smart man. He's very well knowledge. Uh, pretty cool. He's a black dude. Uh, I don't know. He's not hostile towards anybody that's religious or anything. It's just he makes sense and he speaks. He knows his stuff. He knows history. He was a pastor, you know, uh, so he was definitely Christian for a long time or whatever and believed in a certain way. Um, the only reason I'm bringing this up is because I watched a video of his yesterday and he was just talking about the flaws in some of the stories, you know. And when you think about it, it does make sense. Um, like he was just bringing up, for instance, why would a perfect God create something and then put something into the Garden of Eden, knowingly, knowing that the man is going to choose the wrong choice in the first place. It, when you think about it, that does not make sense. Um, because if he wanted a perfect creation and he wanted man to be with him in, in a certain way, why didn't he just make it that way? Well, for me... Uh,
I tread lightly sometimes with the subjects of God and stuff on this channel, even though I speak a lot about my relationship with uh, Big Kahuna. You know, I've stated this, that the Creator prefers me to refer to it as that, the Big Kahuna. Um, only, you know, when I use the word God, it's just because it's a lack of... It's just a word to give the viewers some understanding of what I'm talking about. And so some people are going to hear the word God and automatically think of, you know, Jesus and Christianity. Or some people might think of, you know, if you're talking to a Muslim, they're going to think of Allah. You think of somebody from another, you know, it just depends on what religion, what culture you're from. Um, there's another guy, Most High Son, S-O-N, who speaks some really good truth. And I share his videos some on my community. Um, he made a video that I watched. Uh, I don't think it, I think it was a little like a day or two old, but I watched it yesterday and it was talking about how the creator is not that concerned about names. Like whether you call God, God, or you call God creator or the great spirit or like I do, the big kahuna. Sometimes I call God divine source. I use a lot of different wordings. Um, and Most High Son is definitely right about that. I, God has never told me that I had to, you know, the only time that he's ever, the only time that God, what God is, has ever expressed to me that it would rather be called anything other than whatever I might have been calling it was here recently in the past few months of Big Kuna. And uh, I like that ring. That's who my boss is, Big Kahuna. And um, I don't think God is uh, actively trying to manipulate or change anything in anybody's lives. Um, now, if you pursue active change in your life and it brings you down a, a certain spiritual path and you come to find and have a relationship with the creator, then that's good. But I don't think it's trying to sway us too much in any way. It's more that, I mean, that's the whole point of free will. So you have the choice to do what you want to do and you can have the choice to do things that are relatively bad for you, or you have the choice to do things that are in, what there will be for the betterment of you. That is sad that we live in a world most people do not take responsibility for the choices they make. And that's the truth. It's always somebody else's fault. If it ain't another human being's fault, then it's a circumstance fault. If it ain't a circumstance fault, then it's God's fault. If it ain't God's fault, then it's, it's always something for most people. And... The only way you're going to correct anything in your life is to start owning up to what you chose to do. And I'm not speaking for anybody else other than myself, really. And I think I needed to say this, you know. I want to make it clear. I follow the teachings of Christ. And I also know that the same teachings that Christ taught go even further back. And I've studied many things from other cultures and other religions and things that are even older than the Bible. So I think it's necessary for us as human beings. Um, well, for one, like the fifth agreement, be skeptical, but learn to listen. I think it's very important to keep questioning no matter how much you think you know or how much you think you've gotten to the truth. You always need to question it. And then you even need to question yourself. You need to question the people telling you anything. You need to question even that inner voice sometimes. You have to have discernment. Is the inner voice you or is it your thoughts or is it actually an outside source directing you or helping you and influencing you? And if it's a good outside source that is coming from the creator, then that's a good thing. But there can be outside sources also that are not necessarily the creator that are influencing and that's happened to me many times too, whether it be people or entities that are unseen. Uh, 
you don't have to believe any of this. You could tell me I'm full of it. I don't care. Um, I know what I know. And I'm not going to try. You, no matter how much I tell you any about it, all the stories I can tell you or anything, it's not going to prove anything to you. You're going to have to experience yourself. Um, and everything that I've said in this video so far has all just been free flow. It's like the spirit's just moving through me right now. And, it, and it's really just things that I think I just needed to address. And uh, hopefully in the next coming month, few months, you will see a lot more coming out of... There's a lot more to be revealed uh, with this channel, with a website that I'm working to uh, launch here in the, pretty soon. Uh, I, I don't have a definite set date or anything, but I will be announcing that when I get... When I get everything secure and start working on it, uh, then I'll be permit, presenting more information about that. Uh, I really need to start working on uh, getting a merchandise store up, like a Teespring, anything like that. I've asked somebody to help me with this, but at the moment, you know, they have a lot going on. It doesn't seem like we're in good communication. So I don't know if that's gonna transpire. I may just have to do it myself. Or what I'm going to ask also is if there's anybody that's got anybody that's a subscriber here and you have experience with a, making a Teespring store or anything like that, get with me and let's work together. Let's create a great cloudy day store and let's put some, let's create some uh, images to put on shirts and stickers. And let, I'm going to try to think of some stuff, you know. But I'd like to see if anybody wants to put some input into this because it's just not all about Grey Cloud. This is for all of us. And um, anything that we can produce to, to generate more funds to put back into the channel is what I want to do. Um, I'm hoping to I'm hoping to get to sell this with the throne and uh, this now. A subscriber did send that to me, and I'm very grateful for that. But I think this is the time to think about where I am and where I'm moving forward. So I have gave a lot of my toys away, and I'm going to give a lot away. But I've also sold some. I sold probably over $200 worth of toys at my yard sale the other day for $27. I could have made a lot more money if I sold the stuff on eBay or waited. But I need... I have to have money today. Like, you know what I'm saying? I get one check a month, and when it's gone, it's gone. So I got to either hold a sign at a stop sign and try to get people to help me, or I got to sell stuff at a yard sale, or I got to find odd jobs to get me through. And hopefully when I can create something to start generating money for the channel and the website, everything that it starts generating is just going to go all back into it. Which means later down the road, eventually adding people to the team that would eventually get paid. Uh, in the beginning, none of us would get paid. I don't get paid for this stuff. But if you're interested in doing anything with me uh, on collaborating musically, uh, artistically, uh, writing, helping with the website, creating ideas for t-shirts, putting together a, a, a merchandise store, all that. And as I start doing more live streams, I got to learn how to make people moderators. Uh, how do we, I don't know how we put people in timeout in the chats if, if someone's being inappropriate or how you keep someone even coming into the chat if they're like going way off topic and stuff. I really don't want to get into all that, but I'm, I can't do it all myself. I'm going to, I'm going to need to learn this. So that's something we're going to work on too. And I might, I might do a live stream here a little later today. Um, I'm in central time zone, so sometime after 1 o'clock central time, keep uh, an eye on the channel. I might go live uh, and see who may want to be here and talk and chat. So, and I'll, I'll announce that. I'll let you know if I'm going to go live or not. Just be looking for it because I don't know how – I ain't figured out how to – to schedule it and then really share it. Like I can schedule it, but it, I don't know, man, I'm still new to some of it, like the live stream and stuff, but I'm enjoying it. 
the last couple of live streams I've had have went pretty well. The one before last was like 25 people there, gained like three or four new subscribers. And uh, that's cool, man. I love interacting with you guys. I'm just in a contemplative mood. So today, I'm done right now for this video, and I'm going to get off here, um, look for another video later. And I hope y'all have a good day. And it's been fun. Great cloud. Stage of the eternal moment over and out. Ditto.